yeah, um, was supposed to go live about 17 minutes ago, but, uh, what kind of happened was I didn't, um, I did not go live. As a matter of fact, um, I was feeling, before this happened tonight, I was feeling like, uh, how to say this? Oh my god, I'm really bad at talking tonight. But I was thinking I was... Before the stream, I was just going to get a little rest, so I laid down for a bit, and then I kind of didn't wake up for another 30 minutes. And so and such, here we are now, and I am just super, super tired. Um, but I did wake up, I am ready, uh, and tonight we are just going to be streaming a bit of Hearthstone. And you know what? Hearthstone... It's kind of exciting right now, it's kind of interesting, mainly just because there are so many new decks to try, and so tonight we are going to be working on two different decks, and I have no intention of doing that super great, but basically with, you know, kind of Fun Deck Monday, I want to make interesting different decks that are not meta decks, and just, you know, if I lose, I lose that kind of thing, and just see if we can make potentially a good deck from a whole bunch of cards that, well, are not meta decks. So there you go, that's basically it. So let's take a look at what we have tonight. Because when I was, um, before I started really playing Hearthstone, I used to watch someone who used to just try different kinds of decks all of the time, and that was really interesting and creative. So that's kind of what I'm looking at doing here. So where are the ones that we are going to be doing today? Ah, yes. So first of all, the Infinite Taunt Druid, as I like to call it. Uh, so this deck is just kind of interesting because it works under the principle of just trying to ramp with the greedy sprites as well as the wild growths and as you can see everything else is pretty much to do with taunt so we have spreading plague we have rotten apple bomb for healing hey deus how are you i am not fully awake yet i'm actually still really really tired uh, we also have Furious Etten, uh, we have Malfurion to, you know, try and stop us from dying uh, with some extra armor. We have Ironbark Protector, we have Primordial Drakes, we have Splinter Graph for making extra copies of cards, the Lich King, uh, just an absolutely amazing taunt. And then the last piece of this giant puzzle is Hardranox. Now, Hardranox was originally considered to be a really bad card because it's like, well, how do you make it? How do you kill it? How do you do anything with it? And he's right. It is pretty kind of difficult to kill with seven health and three. Uh, attack, it's not exactly the easiest thing in the world to kill, but when you actually just carnivorous cube it, uh, it will not only summon just a ton of taunts back, but it will also potentially give you another two harder noxes, and then you can just infinity chain uh, basically everything. So other than that, that's kind of the combo that we're looking. We're just basically looking to stay alive for the longest time, and then eventually we are going to just harder nox and just make our enemy want to die, because he will not be able to. And the other thing that we have, what if they silence the Carnivorous Cube? Well, that's where the Witching Hour comes in, which is summon a random friendly beast that died this game. We only have one friendly beast in our entire deck, which is Hardranox. So it basically gives us even more taunts just through the Witching Hour in case somebody tries to kill it or anything like that. We can just kill our Hardranox and bring it back and continually just summon a whole bunch of taunts. So that's one deck we'll be playing tonight. The other deck is one of my favorite types, which is an elemental deck. And the reason I like elementals is just because it is... I just really like elementals. 
Oh, wait. Deus. Uh, yesterday was great. After beating that X stage, I felt so good. I knocked down another two more 10 mans during the day. Wow, you're making tons of pro uh, progress. Are these decks you personally worked on? Yes. Um, they were ideas I've had. I have only saw the heart knocks from one fight uh, with Kibler last week where um, someone had been running the same kind of deck, but I don't think they were running the Witching Hour, so that was my own idea. Ah, yum, yum. Whenever I wake up from being asleep, it just, uh my throat is just really, really dry and scratchy. So... I may need to actually get up and go do something. But anyway, uh, we have Zap for early re cheap removal. We have Blazing Invocation, which is great for just discovering a super cheap minion. But one of my favorite cards, um, well, Urshock for silencing, uh, Glacial Shard for freezing and helping develop a board, uh, Witch's Apprentice just for getting an extra spell or something, potentially taking away some damage, Acidic Swamp Ooze because there are lots and lots and lots of Q blocks, so... Uh, let's not give them any benefit. Earth and Might is actually one of my favorite cards because in a deck with just all elementals pretty much, plus two plus two is not bad stats for two mana. And then it just gives you another elemental, which can be really important for just continuing your elemental synergy. Uh, we have Murmuring Elementals, double healing or double effects. Really the only thing we're super wanting this for is using with Kalamos or... Maybe Hagatha. We'll see what happens there. Uh, Manatide for drawing uh, cards. Uh, Hot Springs because there are just so many burn down decks that it's important to have some healing. Hex for Q blocks. Just, and then just kind of a nice solid elemental package. But the big thing here is that we have also Thrall and Hagatha. Uh, to give us some extra battle cries in case we shutter walk later and just get a whole lot of value out of it. The one thing I'm not super convinced about is Blaze Caller. It's nice to be able to do five points of damage, but it's not necessarily reliable, so not quite sure. So we're going to test out these, and yeah, other than that, just going to have a nice relaxing night. Uh, I am personally just going to be trying to wake up. So we're not super, super, like we're at rank 20 and we're going to probably be staying at rank 20, which is fine. We have, what's the next thing we get? Golden Innervate. Ooh. I don't know how good these decks are, but there really isn't much uh, meta right now, so that's fine. Farty McGee, how are you doing? What I would consider to be the on meta decks right now are Odd Paladin, Q Block, and um, uh, those are the main two decks, as well as I think possibly Odd Hunter. Hmm. Okay, well. We always want to try and get ramp, because it's important that we ramp out over our opponent. Uh, that's not super great. We never want to see our iron bark golems. We really want to get those off of other cards, so... Like that, as a matter of fact. Okay, alright. Well. This is probably... It's hard to say if this will en end up being a bad for us or good for us matchup. I don't feel like it's going to be that good. Yeah. 
Hey, how, how, how are you? I'm tired. I just woke up like a few minutes ago uh, after being really late to get up. Um, like really, really, I was pretty much asleep. Rank 29 home 100. Hopefully it's not bad as last month. I think it will be. I will. I, I actually think it will be very, very bad this month. For a whole bunch of reasons. So I think what we do is we just, we're going to bring out the earth and coin right away here. Or, I mean, the Oaken Summons. Ooh, well, there's Harder Nox. Okay. That'll activate, that'll bring up, ooh, that's bad for us. That's anti-synergy. Top one in arena has 20k points. I'm not sure how high that is compared to the last. Um, I haven't looked, actually. I was really scared to look and see what uh, it looks like right now. Is he really going to coin out and armor up? Yeah, yeah, he is. So that's the problem with Oaken Summons in this deck. No, Sky Lagoon has come online. I remember, we'll see how um, bad it gets in the next few days. I think people may be, fo uh, may be on the fence. Let me take a look what the top... 200k points is pretty much, I think, what last time was like. I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly, that sounds about right. That sounds about right for what it was. Do I just want to... I have a feeling that he is going to... Alright, so next turn we have eight. We might get shield slammed, which is okay. Wow, this guy is just all in on the hero power. Oh, I'm gonna get armor, and then I'm gonna get more armor. I don't it doesn't really matter what we splinter graph, I think, so long as we just basically splinter graph. Two hundred K seems really bad. Um, I would expect Arena to be particularly bad, just like last time. I would not hold out much hope for it. 
Okay. So this is a control warrior, so he has Brawl. The question is, when is he going to play it? He also has three out of seven so far. That thing's getting, I think... Just gonna kill that. Hit there. Armor up and hit in the face. So I, I like the bolster guy, but um, I definitely didn't think about that. Uh, well, I mean, this guy really likes his armor. This guy really, really likes his armor. Hmm. Uh, hope I won't be refreshing it all this time. You say that, but it's still early in the week. Uh, hopefully some of the bigger whales wake up and shit alum's poles. I know I never want to be doing this. I'd rather be pulling for units. I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, it feels... I, I don't... I don't think that anybody is necessarily going to... I don't think anybody's not going to be just doing a massive amount of poles this time. I really don't want to Oaken Summons again. Because... Probably won't end well. I don't feel like. I kind of just want to get out as many thing, big things as I can. What I want is I want to get... Uh, now he could just shield slam this, which would be fine. Okay, he's going super hard. Um, but I really need three more UOCs. I mean, you're going to have to spend to get three more UOCs. There's no way you're not going to have to laugh this refresh. That's kind of a dead card at this point. Okay. Don't think I want to do another one of those this turn. So I think we'll just take that out. Drop that. Uh, do you think they'll announce uh, Xenogears banner tomorrow? No, it will be on the 19th when it gets announced. Uh, we already know that it's starting on the 21st, I think, so yeah.
Gore Howl. <gasps> he runs Gore Howl. Yep. All right, well, time for the big play. Uh, the one thing I'm pretty hyped for me Ooh, that's actually pretty decent for us. That's really good for us. So, now we're going to summon these two. Uh, the other thing that was pretty hype for me, it, it told me over from Till Xenogears, is FF6 rerun. It was a good King Mog, and redoing it. Really? Really? You want to? Okay, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. So, here you go. Like, this is what happens. Now we have just a massive wall of taunt, uh, which... Yeah, go for it. Uh, yeah, it's gone. Cool. Because as soon as he plays Sulphurus, he loses his armor up ability. Okay, yeah, here comes Sulphurus. And I think he's lost the game. Because, so here's what we do. Ooh, I want to play that. But So what we're going to do is we're going to play the Witching Hour. Oh, those are beasts. Okay then that's pretty much a problem. That's anti-synergy I did not think about. Those are beasts. Hmm. So if I want to play the witching hour then, then, okay, all right. I have to make some changes to this deck for sure. I was a little bit too greedy, I think. All right, all right. Do we get super, super lucky? Okay, that's good news for us. Just thinking to myself how we want to do this.
Because he could kill this potentially next turn. Give me a harder knocks. Thank you. That's what's supposed to happen. Uh, the beast thing for Malfurion actually really, really hurts this. Okay, he's going straight face. So what we want to do is we want to hit like this, which summons two of those, and we're going to save that, and we're also going to do this, and then we're also going to hit here, and I think we're just going to plus some armor so we don't die horribly. Those are both really good cards. Well, yeah, I hear you. It was a nice surprise to see the last two-week trial this time. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good and everything. I just wouldn't hold out too much hope that uh, this week in Arena is going to be that good or anything. Okay, yeah, yeah. So this is good because what we can do... Uh, we have the chance to really, really uh, screw him up. So first of all, we're going to pay, pay, play uh, Death and Decay. We're going to get rid of that guy. And I think I just want to Frostmourn. Push my advantage here. So that'll heal him a little bit, but... That's actually great news for us. I mean, yeah, we kind of got to do this, right? Um, so we go, yum, yum. And so now he's got an entire board to deal with, and if he kills this, then we get two more harder noxes. That's fine. That's also fine. So now what we can do... Uh, we can play this out, armor up, hit in the face. And now we have a ton more healing. Think we got this guy. I'm pretty sure this is really difficult for him to kill. Yeah, no, I, I just get a whole nother board. And if one of the harder noxes survives, then I just get a whole nother board again. Yeah, so I get healed. Um, there's there's my board again. Cool, cool. Oh, damn. That's unlucky for him. Easy. I told you, this deck is really, really cool. This deck is actually really, really cool. Oh my god, are we going to actually level up with this thing? <gasps> wow. Uh, so that, as I am for the Xeno event, I'm worried that whaling I may have to do. Um, I think it will be a split banner. I guess something like the VP banner. Yep, it'll probably be... I think it'll be at least three five-star bases. 
and probably a whole bunch of step ups, meaning a ton of money. Uh, I do want to change some things here. I guess actually getting one of them off of it isn't super, super bad. Um, I'm kind of thinking of putting in a branching path instead of a spreading plague because I think spreading plague is actually really bad because it summons the taunts that are beasts, which really hurts our chances. So maybe that, um, hmm. I'm thinking an Ellie Banner 1, Sighton and Billy Banner 2. Uh, we already know Faye is part of the banner, so um, we're going to have Faye to fight, or to use. Yeah, whatever. I swear, I actually was saying something. Uh, choo choo for Raid Bull. I honestly don't, oh man, I am not up on my Xeno Gears. I do not remember much about Xeno Gears, but. Uh, do I want a Nourish in here? Technically, Malfurion is also bad for Synergy. So is the Serenite Chain Gang. We could potentially put a Fate Spinner in. Um, hum, 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 hum. I actually think Serenite Chain Gang is is good for early game, but not good for late game. I think I'm going to toss that out and potentially put Nourish in for card draw. We definitely don't want beasts. Uh, we want Hardranox to be our only beast uh, that we can summon, uh, because uh, that just gives us infinite taunts, basically. And that's the really, really important thing here. I, I'm, I'm not quite sure what they'll do, but we do know that Faye will be a 5-star and is in there somewhere. So we have both Oaken summons, which I think is actually really, really bad, because we could get both of our bolster guys. On the other hand, uh, it's potentially good against a mage. Uh, this is really high. Not happy to see an Ironwood or a Furious Enten this early. We really need to draw a whole bunch of our uh, ramp. Otherwise, this is going to be particularly bad. Ugh. I enjoyed the way that deck performed against uh, Control Warrior. Control Warrior, which just has a ton of armor, is potentially bad for this deck. Because uh, both decks will go to fatigue, and we don't have as good of tools for not getting fatigued. But Well, I would go on the limb and say that it is probably an elemental mage. And we might not be playing Elemental Shaman tonight. We might just be doing Druid since I woke up so damn late. Let's get the cauldron boiling. Just do a nice little stir. Come on, stir. Um, I don't think you want to do that.
That's fine, I'll kill that. Next summon we will coin Oaken summons. Because these, these guys don't typically run much in the way of uh, spells, I don't think. Mostly it's a minion based deck. I think. It's not an even or an odd, so... Yeah, yeah, hero power. That's that's the best thing right now. Hmm. I love to see me that hero power. Well, we're not getting one of those. Okay. That's my problem. That's just bad luck, essentially. But the extra armor will help. The armor is essentially unlimited healing that we don't need to worry about gaining, so... In a control match, though, this will be probably difficult. We don't want to get our harder knots um, uh, polymorphed. Uh, whether this runs polymorph, there's probably a good bet, because polymorph is essentially... Oh dear god! Oh wow, he really wants that to stay alive. So that thing can just generate way too much value. So I think that's the one we silence. I actually think that's perfectly okay for us to do. Probably going to want to run out the Oaken Summons next turn though. We just don't want this to generate a ton of extra value for him, because that's basically what uh, a big play of these decks is trying to get as much value as they possibly can off of Archmage, Arugula, or whatever he's called. Kind of limits them because they don't run card draw. Why freeze it if that's all you are going to do? Alright, well, we're going to start running out the taunts. So these guys usually run a nice controlling game. Oh my god! Yes, 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 yes. Oh dear. Oh, that is beautiful. I will hit like that and summon this, and hopefully we will not get our other bolster. Yep, that's good. And next turn we are going to play out either this or this, depending on what we get. We do want to find harder knocks. You know, the other thing I want is an ultimate infestation in this deck, but maybe not. We have both of our witching hours, so providing that we do not get another polymorph, uh, or he only runs one, which probably not. So polymorph will essentially kill our most of our plan. Actually, it might uh, have done already a ton of damage, but we'll see. I mean, he's playing really, really hard, trying to... Effective mana usage. This makes it really hard for him to generate a board, because he's constantly trying to clear it off. But he's definitely playing... Uh, He's going to coin out Jane, or get Jane out pretty soon. Yeah, Servant of Calamos. Okay. So 
So that's pretty much just card draw now. So I want to be able to... So I think we play the Furious Etten. Hit there. And smash in the face, just to make him a little scared. Just to make him a little bit scared about his play. I think that's pretty good. To be fair, I think that Brave Exvius this week is just a really bad investment spending any Lapis. A any Lapis you spend, I think, this week is particularly bad. So next turn we can do this the, this combination right here. This will probably help us get harder knocks. Um, I'm really hoping that he spends his other polymorph. Also, if we draw our bolster guy, that might actually be an okay play here to just smash him. But there's very little, since there's so little removal in this game right now, the only card that, the only deck that runs a ton more removal than this is Priest, but I just don't think it, yeah, look, see, he's even spending that really, really hard trying to get rid of it. That feels pretty ineffective. Yeah, getting it. So we're just going to do the obvious play here. We're going to do that and draw three cards. Splinter Graph is good. Uh, Wild Growth, not so good. Cube is pretty good. So I next, next turn, I think we just Splinter Graph. Book of Spectres is a lot of card draw. There goes his Pyroblast. There goes his... Ooh, ow! That's a really rough three cards to lose. Eh. I could keep the board clear. I could just coin out that and have a really, really big threat on the board. Or I could just this. Which I think this is technically better, because it leaves me with something on the board. I wonder if there will be some type of Lapis sale for Golden Week. Alum never seems to have these sales. I mean, they had the last sale they had was about, what, beginning of the year? So I, I was kind of predicting that we'd see either beginning of April or Golden Week, some kind of Lapis sale. Uh, it'll probably just be bonus Lapis for what you get. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Rough supper tonight. Oh, nothing but chicken and beef. Chicken and beef and chicken and beef. We want harder knocks to show up sooner than later, probably. I'm a little worried about the fact that we also got polymorph because polymorph probably counts as a beast. So uh, we want to make sure that we get that, and we want a way to kill our guy. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, so we're going to splinter graph here. We're going to hit splinter graph. I mean, that's not bad per se. That gives us a 10 10 dragon for 10 with a battle cry effect, which is not half bad, and it puts a really big threat on the board for him to deal with. It 
So he's just going to flame geyser that? Yeah, I do. I want him. I really want him to spend his card trying. I really want him to polymorph this. He he's kind of forced to ping right here. He doesn't have Jaina out yet, which is bad for him. Good for us. Because as soon as Jaina comes out, this becomes a very very different game. On the other hand, we potentially have lethal. If he does not deal with this, if he goes Jaina, uh, we just win the next turn. Let's see what he chooses to do. Did he quit? Ten, nine, eight. Yep, I think we won. So all we gotta do is play out our bolster guy, do this, give our Yep. I tell you guys, this deck is fucking amazing. This deck is so good. It is just so good. It is really hard right now with the lack of AoE to for a lot of decks to just constantly deal with this. Although this might be a problem. Okay, so most of this is bad. Um, I think we want to go and try really, really hard for any ramp. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice. We did it, guys. We did it. So we ramp this out, this, and if anything uh, particularly bad is coming. Oh my god, it's an even. Wow. Nature's blessings to you. Now be quiet. Alright, so we'll throw that out there. No, we're going to get... You going to say something? Going to pull me? No. Nourish is a really, really good card here. But given that it's going just so kind of slow, I'm just going to throw that out. I'm thinking I'm going to save this for card draw. Probably. You are not... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, Quartz Elemental. Okay. So he's got to really work hard to use that. So we want... We don't want to silence it. I think what we want to do is we want to draw... Three. 
Let's see what he does. So he probably is running Psychic Scream. Okay. This is an this is a lady in white deck for sure. That's the one you want to heal. So he can't heal that up unless he has Divine Him. do this. So next turn we're up to 10 mana, which is good news. So he's really trying to get value off of his Quartz Elemental. So we can gain some armor. We can kill it pretty easily, though. Okay, all right. So I think what we are going going to draw a bit. That kind of sucks. So inner fire is how much mana is inner fire? How long can we go on? Exactly. Shoebot, how how much mana is Inner Fire? Is it Inner Fire 2? Inner Fire is 1. So if he got if he has that next turn, that's potentially really really bad for us. I'm going to silence it anyway. And then just hero power pop in the face. Can't stay, sorry, long. We'll catch on YouTube. Okay. Well, nice seeing you, Shoebot. Will he pick the right card? Nope. What I really, really need right now, more than anything, is some actual armor gain. That is not armor gain. Thank you. 
I'm just going to make it really, really difficult for him to get through. He hasn't drawn Lady in White yet, so that's good news. If he had Lady in White, I think he would have played it by now. Alright, well, uh, that can get silenced, I think. That still could really, really suck. Okay, so we're getting whelped. I don't know if he has any way to deal with this. If he does, it's really bad for us. If he doesn't, it's really... Uh oh Wait, what, what, what removal is he running? Ah, oh, of course. I think that's I think that's pretty much GG. Cause there is no almost no way I live through that. He's got to have inner fire. Doesn't really matter what we do at this point. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. He's just going to inf... I squelched you. Fuck off. Definitely, that might be the deck that this struggles against the most. Hmm. I don't think there's much we can do about that, especially when we just do not get harder knocks. Uh, we kind of really need harder knocks. And Priest is just kind of a lame deck, no matter what. So, that's okay. Yeah, Wicklet, I got beat. I want to show off my um, Elemental Trio. So, I'm actually going to do just a casual match of that. Because I'm still a little nervous about this deck. I'm still a little shaky about it. I just want to try a match and see. It, I never said it was the perfect deck, but it has performed pretty well so far tonight. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just try this.
All right, so we will throw out this and give adjacent minions spell plus one, plus one. I think we'll take a golden black knight. I love elemental. Uh, I really, really do. Uh, so, right. Hmm. Summon a 5-5 five, five skeleton. Summon one for your opponent. So turn four, we definitely want to play an elemental. Uh, we have an interesting little hand here. I'm not super sure this is the greatest card in the world, but uh, we might be able to do something with it. Potentially. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, all right. Okay, he's playing out some little guys. Kind of what I thought would happen there. I think we want to play this. Because of the elemental synergy we can get. Oh, it's a face one. Okay. So if I hit there. We'll do that and throw this down. It's not the strongest play in the world, but uh, it's not the strongest play in the world. That's the wrong card to see right now. How, how, how? I really need a, like, a volcano right now, which I definitely have in this deck, but, um, hmm, not getting one. I feel like it's bad tempo now. I'm going to keep playing the elementals, uh, so hopefully I can get some synergy going, but we're pretty behind on board. Not getting elemental invocation to start really hurt. Hagatha would be the best draw here, but we're pretty screwed. Oh yeah, we're very screwed. Damn it. Ah, that's the way that beats. That's the way it happens sometimes. That's the biggest problem. This deck either works really well or really poorly, it feels like. Uh-huh. 
Maybe the blazing invocations was just too greedy a keep. Wicklet is really uh, going super hard. Wicklet wants me to lose. Wicklet, what's up, man? Why are you hating on me? Okay, Earth and Might is nice here. Uh, so is potentially the Hot Spring Guardian, if we can get the two out in a row. This is a nice curve, but we'll see if it works good. Um, we could potentially just, you know, coin out. That's actually a nice card, too. I'd love to see a Witch's Apprentice. You're just messing with me. You're tired. I'm tired, too, man. Ropey hating on me. So this seems weird, but I'm actually just going to coin this out right now. Cool. Okay, so he's got a lot of armor. There's our Death Knight Thrall. That gives us an Unbound Elemental, which is some nice synergy with Zap, actually. So this puts him in a weird spot, because he lost a lot of the armor he just spent a turn getting. He really likes armor. Like, he really likes armor. So, yeah, this kind of feels like a... I have a feeling that he might try and... use a weapon next turn, so I'm just going to do that. I really want the elemental synergy going into a Servant of Calamos. Yep, called it. So... Now we're just going to play this out. I actually want this, because we can potentially do this and that. We're going to remove as much of our, his armor as we can. He's not an armor, so it feels like he's just a control warrior. Really? Wow, somebody actually runs that card. Okay. I'm not super sure that's amazing for him, but... I think what we're going to do is we're going to coin this out and then just get a lot of how long can this go on. Now, he might Deadly Arsenal us again. But I'm hoping next turn we will have even anything on board uh, is potentially good, because we can uh, Thrall. He is just really desperately does not want me to have a board. See what we get. Spell power and mana. Okay. Gives us that. Hello, my old friends. I've come to hex you again. No, you don't get to have any fun. No, not even a little bit of fun. And, well, I, I was like doing a song there and then it just went bad. Okay, spend that weapon. 
And Gore Howl. Okay. All right, so there's Volcano. I feel like I want to put a big threat on the board. Good time for a taunt, Totem. <laughs> Whirlwind, okay. Execute, okay. Spending a lot of cards right now that he might actually want in the future. Okay. Um, I think now is when I play out this. And I think next turn what we do is we actually just uh, Murmuring Elemental into Death Knight Thrall. I'm really hoping he doesn't have the other world. He does. He actually does. Execute. Okay. All right, so I'm actually going to, I think, play this out. Because he, that's a pretty big threat on the board. Shield slam. All right, okay, here we go. Here we go, you ready? Because uh, I don't think he can actually deal with this. So we're going to summon a 1-1 board and see if he can make get rid of that. Really we're setting up for a potentially massive uh, shutter walk. No whirlwind. One time. Don't don't kill him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't do that. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's okay. Alright, ready? Okay. This is what we've been waiting for. This is where the fun begins. Alright, so we're going to hex that. We're going to hit. We're going to punch, 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 punch. Uh, we only have six, so we're only going to get a one, but that still feels pretty good. That feels pretty good. Cool, my other fire elemental. I really, like, this deck feels fun sometimes, uh, but I don't know if it, it will ever be good enough to compete on ladder. By the way, who's online right now? Surge Master is playing hot, or uh, Overwatch. Hmm.
think I got to do some work on that. And priests probably will just be forever my taunt druid's biggest worry. Oh my god, another warrior. Wait, is it the same warrior? Well, if that's the case, we're... I think we're going to keep that. Actually, we might just keep this hand. Yo, Skarboski, how are you doing? How are you doing tonight? Pretty quiet night in here, which is okay. Farsight is actually decent. You doing good with tonight with them cards? We're doing okay. We had a pretty good. Uh, we actually had a pretty good win streak with. Um, Uh, with just our uh, Taunt Druid, which is pretty cool. That's actually pretty cheap. Yeah, yeah, it feels okay. I mean, we have this, so I actually feel okay. So I guess this is a Rush Control Warrior. I have a feeling he probably has bigger cards in his deck, which are more of a threat. But, okay, let's, let's, he's trying to get tempo. We're not gonna, we're gonna see if we can deny him that tempo. Okay. Why, it's a South Sea dick face. I think what we do here is we just flat out deny him a lot of the things that he loves in life. He is really short on cards right now. Like, he is really, really short on cards. So we have an Earth Shock. Uh, but if we do that, we kill our. We could actually just play this. Because we have this, which basically just gives us synergy, so I think we're going to do that. This is going to take forever, but... Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Golden Wolf, how are you doing tonight? Okay, so he's played out his entire hand. So now we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to lose our synergy, but since this is just a beatdown deck, um, I'm okay with it. Cool. All right. Uh, this feels pretty winnable. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to play this out and this out. Uh, because next turn that gives us uh, Kalamos. So there's, there's nothing he has that will be strong enough to kill us.
Uh, we could do this, but um, actually, this would be. Yeah, he's dead. Never mind. I don't even know what I was worried about. He was dead. Agro decks, I do not like you ever. Doing weapon raid in FFB, man, I've been getting trash. You and me both, Skarboski. I actually have gotten absolutely just the worst things. I want to do this really quickly because I want uh, really badly to get uh, my free pack just by doing a whole bunch of these. I have been getting the actual, the same thing, just absolutely trash in the weapon. I haven't seen a single rare E ability this one. It's a little bit of a rough time in Brave Axios, to be totally honest. I'm definitely not feeling the arena event. I'm definitely not feeling... A, ooh, oh, 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 uh, this, oh. This all feels good. This all feels good. Maybe. Yeah, I know. It feels bad, man. I have not gotten a single rare ability in so many runs. Yeah, it's not just me. Uh, whenever your opponent casts a spell, uh, wait, draw a card, it costs one. I think we want to play this out now. Because this, this basically kills everything. going to play this out. I don't feel like uh, he's going to do anything, which will just kind of buy us a turn. I really actually want him to run out a ton of stuff. Yeah, no. By all means, buddy. Go for it. That Yeah, that's a card. That's a card. That's a card. Because basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get him to run out a ton of stuff and then I'm just going to candle and it won't fucking matter. Well, to be fair, you were never going to... Uh, you never going to beat your gun for Vincent. I still don't know how RNG liked you so much. I got lucky, for sure. All right, we're just going to Kazakus. Uh... I think we're going to do a potion for 10. Deal 11 damage. Summon 3 men minions. Summon an 8-8. Eight, eight. I don't really know if this is any kind of good. We'll see. Draw 3 cards. Okay. Holy cow! Golden Wolf, Wolf wrote an entire article. Uh... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Even though I got friend level 8 yesterday, my cloud can still only get to 25-25 attack. I'm not sure what else I can do. August is approaching. You still got lots of time till August. Don't worry. Don't worry about it, Deus. Calm down. You beat the trial, man. You're good. Even if you don't get it, there will be better stuff in the future. For me, it's late afternoon anyway. Uh, do you know what I'm still mad about in FFB, JP? Squall. I hate how bad they made him. Those modifiers, chaining moves are outright insulting. At least Cloud got Meteor Rain. Yeah, but Cloud also has had uh, enhancements so far, so we'll see what we'll see what um, Squall gets for enhancements. Don't worry. Uh, Squall's pretty popular, so I think they'll give him some good enhancements, maybe. Besides, we can always get other versions. FF8 was my first FF, and it hurts. Oh, my hopes for Laguna, Orin, and Jet. All of those are potentially good possibilities in the future. A hoarding dragon. Give your opponent two car or two coins. Probably should have went for the five. All right, so I'm gonna play out an effigy right now, so he can have that. I'm gonna kill off that golem. Oh, Jesus! Oh, double Jesus! Damn. 
damn, he even remembered the order. Oh, we got Reno. It doesn't matter. We're so lucky. All right. He's going to ask me a question. So what I think we need is, I think we need a, not that, that is actually really, really bad. We have nothing but spells in our hand. Uh, we could potentially make him overdraw this turn though. I don't think I'm going to though. Not quite yet. Thanks for the encouragement. As a dude and not like a lot of people who is an FF fan since a kid, I hope you're right. I don't think you got a hope. Holy shit, is that bad. Holy shit, is that bad. Um, hmm. How many are we up to? We have 10 cards in hand, so we have to get rid of... Um, I think this is the part where we just make him overdraw and potentially kill himself. So we go coin. Coin. Um, banana, but only one more banana on him. One more banana. One arcane missile. I'm gonna kill that dragon. Uh, and then we're gonna do this. Snow Fury Giant sucks a bit. Uh, so does Burglar Bully. Oh god, I might have made a horrible mistake. Boy, I sure hope I draw the candle again in 16 cards. Fuck him, really? Holy shit. Oh good, Effigy is there. So give me a worst card! Like, really what we need is we need the candle. Like, oh dear god, he is just going off. Eight, three, so let's see, uh, three plus three plus more, so six, thirteen, thirteen, Uh, he will be my main chainer. Uh, yeah, I hope I hope they make Squall good one day. So that's fifteen, nineteen, twenty. No, twenty-two, twenty-five. Really depends what he gets next turn, but. These, this does six damage per each one, but it's three, so. We do have that for a full heal, but I don't know how good it will be. 
Ouch. 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 Shit. Woof. So he has three cards left, two cards in his deck. Uh, FF12 is the next King Mog. Mints, if anyone's wondering, Balthier, Ash. Ooh, Balthier and Ash. Gotta love that Ash. None of this feels pretty good. Um, oh, I should have hit there. Damn it. Uh, it's okay. This is not a particularly fair fight. Uh, if I draw the candle, I pretty much win. If I don't draw the candle, we die. Really badly, too. Can you say luckiest man in the world? Wubba lubba dub dub. Get shit on. Yeah, you can have all the fucking cards you want, bud. Oh, yeah, 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 I am Lord. Yeah, eat fatigue, buddy. Yep, we got it. Uh, not only that, we get to take an extra turn because we completed our quest. That was pretty much luck. And now we're going to hit with this, too. Watch this. He's going to take some extra damage. We're going to punch him really hard in the face. Re really? That? Of all things? Okay. Cool. Oh, he's he's got nothing left. Cool, let's just kill him. That's so that was my plan just to burn out all of his cards. Oh my god, Millhouse Mana Storm. Oh my god, crushing hand. Oh my god, lightning storm. It doesn't matter. He's dead. He's 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 really fuck He's really really fucking dead. Yeah, take more damage. How's that ability treating you, hey bud? Kaboom! Easy mode, you guys. Every time. Alright, so what do we got? Uh, Nexus Champion Sarad is actually... That's bad, that's bad. Uh, do we have an unstable portal? No. Uh, do we have a ley line manipulator? I actually think we don't. And Polymorph. Yeah, we got to take Unique. Oh god, what is this? Uh, reduce the cards in your hand by... to. In... Oh god. Okay, alright. This might be a little tricky. The other thing I gotta get better at is just explaining what the hell I'm doing. Uh, these are NPCs right now. We were playing real people earlier, but uh, I have a quest to do. If I beat three of these guys in the dungeon mode, I get a free card pack. So I just kinda wanna do that right now.
This mode is pretty easy to understand. They're basically NPCs with very, very specific... Um, okay. Okay, we kind of got to get some draw going. Ouch. Please, please, please stop punching me in the face. That's good. So if I wanted to start playing this game, do I need to re-rolls or something like that? Um, not really. By playing right now, you can... Get, so first of all, in current Hearthstone, uh, when, like old Hearthstone, you used to have to... Uh, was a lot less generous. Now you kind of get a pack a week and everything like that. You basically just open card packs and get what you get. But... The thing, a big thing they changed to help people out is your first 10 card packs of any set, you're guaranteed at least one legendary. Uh, it is definitely not the easiest thing, but Skarboski, if you want to play, uh, something that's really great that they just added is if you're going to play with friends, then you can just, when you're playing with friends, you can actually borrow their card deck. So if you and me are friends, then you can just like borrow any of my card decks and play any of them. It's not to say that Hearthstone doesn't have a ton of cards to collect and everything like that, and you will find it a little bit difficult, but at least with friends, you can try anything and see what you like and then learn from there. So we're going to throw out this guy. I think we're going to take a five cost spell. We're going to do that one for sure. And we're going to add, I think, two random demons. That sounds pretty good. So next turn we can Leyline Manipulate, or we'll Unstable Portal in then into Leyline. Oh, God. Well, that we're just going to kill. Really? Oh, shoot. Um, I thought that only had one health. Um, ooh, that's got to die. It's okay. We have this. Can you say a sheep? I thought you could. That polymorph was the best card I've ever taken. Holy shit! Um... Wow, is that bad. I can't believe he has a cave troll. Okay, this is some chance to mill some damage. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Four, five, there goes a lot of his health. One, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. two, oh god, no, 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 what the... Um, it's a little scary, actually. I gotta kind of kill all of this this turn. Shoot three th missiles at six damage apiece. One, two, not bad. Your tower is on the road. 
I'm hoping that he'll just play a ton. Not that. Don't don't play that. That that sucks too, actually. Well, I'm gonna hit him in the face, and then I'm gonna hit him in the face, and then I'm gonna hit him in the face. Oh, good, a Malcazar's imp. Oh, cruelly unshackled, though. So we're going to play out this and then kill that. And does that keep that? Oh, wow, that keeps that. That's bullshit. Jesus, is that bad for us? Holy shit, is that bad for us? Man, do I really wish he did not have such a big turn. Die, scumbag! Shit. Double shit. <laughs> do you have ranks in this game? I uh, on ladder you do. This is really bad for us. Summon all demons in my hand. Wow, I have zero demons. This reduces its cost by two, so I can't even play this and this together. Ooh. And. Ooh. And. Ooh. I think there's very little that saves us here. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure we're dead. Oh god, now he just draws everything. <laughs> Oh god, stop. Stop it. Oh god, the synergy. Uh, candle or we lose. Or flame strike. Okay. I mean... That doesn't look like the candle. It's too bad. You almost you only have one card left too. Oh well. The one thing I like about not lo or losing to the NPC is that they don't talk back. Well, we're not quite done yet because. 
Fucking Cecil. Oh, right. I guess it's, uh, it's a new day, which means that there is a brand new summon to be had. Let's see what we get. I could save it for stream tomorrow, but why not do it on stream tonight? Is it a rainbow? It's probably not a rainbow. No, it's a blue, too. Doesn't surprise me. I have not been getting much luck. Ah, it's Ice Katana guy. Okay. In no way would I say that's good, but it could be worse. That's a card. Whenever that minion takes damage, huh? well, we're just going to try not to let it take damage. Got Vanille. Vanille's DMR is pretty good. You did better than both of us. Lame. Less lame. Next turn, we just kill him. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's fine. Totally understand why you would want to do that. I wish you best in the coming fiscal year. One more. Oh yeah, this actually might be a decent run. Mage getting that is just not so... Uh, always take the... Always take the Reno. Cabalist Tone. A little slow, but might be okay. Ooh, it's Explosives, man. I still need to Farmer and Global still. Well, you got plenty of time. How did you win so fast? Uh, so, Dungeon Run is a mode where you do not need to buy any cards. It is single player, so Skarboski, if you're playing, this is actually a decent thing that you can just play from the start. And you'll get just to try a whole bunch of different cards with a ton of different classes. So, actually, you don't need to worry about any of that. Um, the real benefit that you can get from playing this uh, Skarboski is you can just practice and everything like that. Uh, and it starts out with easy ones. Like, the first one is, like, pretty unbelievably easy. And then you just start, you know getting into more and more difficult ones. Like this guy, he's going to throw bombs at us every turn. And it goes up to 10, and, you know, there's actual rewards for completing this, too, so. All right, let's just start beating him up. That's fine. I have a way around this. And he's pretty well dead next turn. He'll throw one of these guys out. Hopefully he'll hit himself in the face. Wow, I got really lucky there. You know what, Skarboski? Everybody starts out as a noob, so it's perfectly fine. Done. Easy peasy, you guys. Skarboski, the, the good thing is, is that there are lots of ways to learn really easily. Hmm. Kind of want Malagos, to be totally honest. Was Debbie a challenge? Uh, not really. I mean, I... I if Debbie... I can't remember which one Debbie is. If Debbie was the last one I fought... Uh, Debbie is pretty, pretty easy. Alright. People love when people open stuff on stream. So it's a common, common, common. Ooh! 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 Okay, this was actually pretty decent. Two epics. That's pretty good. I can't spend money on the game, though. Uh, 
Though I'm broke after two FFBEs. Well, you don't gotta spend money on Hearthstone. Like I said, it's becoming uh, more free to play friendly. Dobby is the Dark Souls looking boss that has the summons. Uh, he is a challenge for mages. Um, but in general, it's not too bad. It's definitely difficult and it's, there's enough of a challenge, but you know, it's not necessarily that difficult. Mountain Giant. Cool. Extra dust. And the other thing, Skarboski, is you are, like, for every three wins, you get ten gold, and every day you get quests uh, where, you know, you just play so many cards or so many wins in a class. And by doing that, you get gold, and you can, like, for instance, just go in. And you can buy a pack for, like, a hundred gold kind of thing. Super easy. And so, like, the other thing that you would love, Skarboski, is unlike um, FFBE, where every summon is, like, shitty low chances, all the time you are working towards a pity timer. So the most packs you can go for without getting a legendary is 40, and that doesn't happen too often, I feel like. So it's actually not bad. I don't feel like you have to spend money. Just do your daily things and... This is pretty much a common pack. Eh, it's okay. You know what? Um, one more. One more pack to close out the night. It's fine, I got some extra gold. I just want the dust. Since you're still on stream, and you helped me last time. I was wondering if you could gear CG Hayu for Omega with fire resistance and things. Uh, I don't remember. I haven't done Omega yet. What does Omega need besides fire resistance? Okay. Cathedral Gargoyle. Okay. Skarboski, you just got to remember, you're not going to have, like, a super cool, um, you're not going to have, like, golden decks like some of the pros do, but, uh, so long as you're okay with that, it's fine. Thunder weapon. Uh, the problem, I can put a thunder weapon on, but it's going to seriously reduce his attack. Hmm, because I have Thunderous, but Thunderous isn't true dual hand, so there's no true dual hand thunder things, or thunder weapon. Like, if you want to see, like, the, the most, I think the most broken deck right now is still cubes. You have Grom's weapon. Uh, thunderous, right? It's Thunderous, right? I have that, but it's not true dual hand. So it's going to seriously reduce uh, Hayu's... Seriously, seriously, seriously going to reduce Hayu's capabilities. Okay, so this is kind of the absolute, like, bullshit deck. Uh, depends on negative resistance to boss. If it has 100, it may be worth it. Maybe. I don't know, Deus, you tell me what you want. I can definitely do a thunder weapon, but I think it's going to really hurt attack, so... Attack totem, attack totem, damn it. Uh. How much am I up to? Eight cards now?
Cool. Next turn, we coin out the Mountain Giant. Ooh, he's coining something out. What's it going to be? Lifesteal Taunt. I mean, okay. Next turn, probably Skull of the Minari. Hex it? Okay. That's fine. I didn't need it. fine. I'm not particularly worried about health right now. Does he want run weapon removal? I think it will be okay. The boss has negative thunder resistance, so if you have machine killer, it might make up for it. Okay, um, I will make a CG Hayu with thunder as well as... What the hell kind of deck is this? All right, so what I think we want to do here is we want to hit that. And then we want to... Kill that. Although he's going to overdraw soon. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to do this. Then we're going to do this. Then we're going to do this. Then we're going to hit here. And we pretty much win. He might have a volcano. But there really isn't much he can do against us. Wow, both of our guys survived. That sucks a lot for him. Wow, that really, really sucks a lot for him. So I told you guys that this deck was pretty bullshit. Uh, yeah. No, no, I mean, you, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Um, I think what I want to do is that and that. So, hit there, hit there. Do I want to do this first and get multiple of her? It's fine. I don't even need them. Yeah, it's fine. I don't need it anymore. I don't need it. It's it's cool, man.
And yeah, you're dead. Oh, you're not dead. You're very close to dead, but you're not quite dead yet. I mean, okay. Cool. I got another Void Lord. Aw, oh, I didn't get to Dark Possession. See, that's, uh, that's how bullshit uh, Warlock decks are. They just do, do not give your opponent any kind of a chance. Okay, all right, so, excuse me, um, hmm, Whew. too much garlic tonight. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it, the stream for tonight. Uh, Deus, uh, I will throw up him for a day, if that's acceptable. Um, I will put up, uh, let's just see right now what I can do. Before I end the stream, let me just see what I can do. 18% extra on Tonerous, 20%. Doesn't hurt him too much, except for the fact that now I need fire resistance. What the hell is fire resistance? That's 20%. That's 30%. So I'm going to put my level 60 Ifrit on my CG Hayu. Uh, that gives him 100% resistance. He's also immune to dark, paralysis, confuse, and stone. Um, I think that's pretty much all you need. Right? Just going to take a quick peek here. Omega. What does Omega do? See you, Golden Wolf. Have a good one. You too, Skarboski. Stop, silence, and blind. So if you could cover blind, maybe. I don't know. Can I? Let me take another quick look here. He also has Paralyze and Confuse. Paralyze and Confuse, my guy is already good with. Do you have anybody who could give, uh, blind isn't that big of a deal. If you can put, if you have any healer that can cure blind, you should be okay. I don't remember if I have any machine killers though, but uh, so he's a 2100 attack, 100% fire resistance, and the only problem you have to worry about is blind and stop, which um, that might be what you need. Does that sound okay, Deus? Before I run out of here. Deus, where are you? Well, I will take my rewards. Cool, we got another card pack. I forgot I had that. No, never mind. I did not get a card pack. What? Huh. 
Huh, I'll have to think about that. Uh, yeah, if you can find Machine Killer, it's fine. I'll make it... Or if you can't find Machine Killer... Yeah, I can't find Machine Killer. The main thing is the 100% fire resistance, which is mandatory. That I have. And he's pretty strong, too. 2100 attack is still pretty damn good. Uh, let's go with Anduin. Uh, let's just draft this deck real quick. Um, this is always decent in Arena. Violet Teacher might be okay. Life Drinker doesn't feel like it'll be that valuable, so I'd actually rather that. Possibly that. I mean, we're really running the four manas here. I think we want that to synergize maybe with that. Nightmare Amalgamation. Holy Nova is potentially a really good clear. I think I can get it done. Omega is mostly DPS race, so I just have to get it by turn nine. I think you can do that. Um, we need some low cards, so I'm going to take that. Uh, Drange Doctor and 8-8 eight, eight for 8 feels pretty decent. I think I'm going to take the Taunt, though. Uh, Screaming Banshee is pretty powerful. But again, I want lower cost cards, I think. This really isn't a thing. Do I want just an Emerald Reaver? That kind of sucks. This also is not very good. None of this is very good. Probably should have taken the, um, what's it called? Eh, the thing. The thing with the thing. Um, I don't know. Maybe this. That might be okay. Crystalline Oracle, no. I think we'll just take another Serenite Chain Gang. What do we have for elementals? We have that. That could potentially be good. I'll take that. A divine spirit. Add a random dragon to your hand. Is there any way we could buff it? No, and we have very little ways to kill it. Take the spell. Ooh, this is tough. Stonehill Defender could give us an obsidian statue. So for flexibility, I think we take that. Holy water might be okay, but silence just feels generally better. That. This isn't going to be very useful, so mind vision. Uh, Shadow or Death, free from Amber or Bone Mare. Bone Mare is usually really good, but I think free from Amber just got to be the right choice. Silence or Carnivorous Cube. I think I'll take the cube for value. Random stuff. Uh, do we have any dragons whatsoever? I don't think we have a single dragon. If this is the only minion on the field, I think this is actually better because, well, no, maybe not. This could be good if we got a dragon. We're going to hope for a dragon. We didn't get a dragon. This, I guess. I think we'll take Shadow Madness. Divine Hymn might be really good. 
I, oh my god, so many mind visions. Um, I guess this for the stats. What? Why? Why am I playing a resurrect priest? I have a whole bunch of cheap spells, so maybe that's okay. That. Curve-wise, we are just super high on the fours. Oh my god, stop it. Like, this is a resurrect priest right now, and no legendaries to speak of. Twilight Drake, because we need a dragon. God, do I take a Holy Water? Just because... Oh, this is the worst deck ever. Well, we're not playing any of that tonight, because I actually need to get going and go to sleep. So, I want to thank you guys for... Yeah. Want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, so tomorrow night will be Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, and Wednesday uh, we might be playing some more Hearthstone because I didn't get enough time tonight. Also because I fell asleep, and uh, now I'm just going to go back to sleep. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. So until then, take care, and in Brave Exvius, may all you guys get some rainbows, and in, you know if you're playing some Hearthstone. Hope there's a legendary in your pack. So, see you guys next time.